it going guys? Sharblogs here, just making this quick Roblox video to tell you guys to be careful when uploading branded t-shirts, shirts and pants to Roblox. So what I mean by this is clothing assets that already exist as copyrighted brands, so basically like clothes in real life. So like Nike, Gucci, Frasher, Adidas, Balenciaga, you guys get the idea. I'd say for the past 15 years on Roblox, if you were to recreate real life clothes and sort of edit them into Roblox clothing templates and then of course upload them well it was perfectly fine you could pretty much find any real life brand you wanted to and then turn it into roblox clothing without any problems a couple of years ago i would say lego and minecraft stuff used to get deleted a lot but apart from that most branded clothing on roblox was fine and you wouldn't get any account penalties for uploading this type of stuff well until very recently a lot of official clothing brands have been cracking down on roblox clothing makers they're not happy that people are using their logos without permission to make roblox clothes. Obviously, Roblox is becoming a lot more popular than what it used to be, and these companies are starting to realize that people can make a lot of Robux from basically ripping off their clothes and making them on the Roblox website. A lot of these clothing companies really don't like their logos on Roblox. Maybe they realized people could devex and like get real money out of this stuff. I myself had a problem a few months ago where Roblox deleted a ton of my Nike clothing. I had made lots of shoes, hoodies, jackets, all of that sort of thing. I got all of my Nike clothes deleted and I got a warning on my account but apart from that I didn't really care because it's not like a ban or anything. Well very recently these companies and Roblox is getting a lot more strict on this sort of thing and there is a big chance that if a brand sees their clothing being copied and you made it they will probably contact Roblox to get your clothing removed and there is a high chance that Roblox might ban your account. So instead of being warnings like it used to be you can actually get your account deleted and this very thing happened to a guy called Carhartt Roblox. He said, is this some kind of joke? I literally just emailed Roblox in order to help or give advice in taking down six years worth of branded clothing, most of which I uploaded when new to designing and having a young mindset, not understanding DMCA issues. I've been working so hard. And as we can see, guys, it says account deleted, which is very sad to see. And the moderator note says, your account has been closed due to violations of our DMCA repeat infringer policy. Please review our terms of service for additional information you are prohibited from creating a new account on Roblox. So do you guys know what this means? That's an IP ban. If you're not allowed to make Roblox accounts anymore, that means this guy got IP banned from the website because this guy was making branded Roblox clothing. So I guess brands like Nike, Palace, all of that kind of stuff. Carhartt did explain it a lot, so I'm not going to read everything, but I'm just going to read the main points. He says, I have been working so hard recently to take down any branded clothing I have uploaded to other groups, including big groups like Tiger. I asked for help and got nothing at all. There is no possible way I could have done any more than what I have tried to do. I have shown some efforts to take down clothing and to be IP banned is completely unfair. I have worked very hard on Roblox, six years of designing and 10 years of owning that account down the drain. I had 10 years worth of items and hard earned Robux, thousands of old messages from old friends. You guys get the idea. He basically explains he's been on Roblox for a long time. All of his stuff is gone and he's very upset about it, which is fair enough. I would also be pretty angry if my Roblox account was deleted for this reason. And what's even more annoying for this guy is he literally emailed Roblox asking them to help or give advice to remove all of this stuff and instead they just banned him. That is ridiculous. Now I wanted to find out what brand resulted in his account getting deleted because I know many of you guys that watch my videos also upload branded clothes. I said whoa this is not good. I never thought you could get banned for this type of thing. I thought it was just content deleted clothes plus warnings. What was the clothing brand that resulted in your account getting banned? I know a lot of Nike stuff gets deleted too. Carhartt replied to me and said, my second warning included a notification from Palace Skateboards Limited directly. I believe this may be the ultimate blow. Though this was uploaded in 2018 and I'd forgotten I'd even uploaded it. Now Tiger is a very big Roblox group, so I guess that kind of makes sense. I can see why it might have got deleted, but his account got banned over this. That's still the strange part. I said, that's interesting. There is still tons of Palace stuff on the shirt and pants sections. I don't see why they even care if someone made a version of their shirt on Roblox. Proper weird. Carhartt said indeed. Maybe the fact it was uploaded onto Tiger, one of the largest Roblox groups, was also a reason it got deleted. Actually, someone else replied and they said they also uploaded some Palace stuff in Tiger and they also got striked. If you guys are wondering, yes, he did a 
appeal. So I believe today he did actually send an appeal to Roblox to try and get his account restored. Obviously this reason is very unfair. And to be honest, I didn't even know this was a thing. When I was younger, I used to make so many branded clothes on Roblox. Like I said, all of my Nike stuff got deleted. Roblox let me upload it in the first place. So I just didn't know it was bad. He did also post a video with all of his branded stuff in. There's like Nike stuff, Hugo Boss, like Vans stuff, basically loads of brands. He has a feeling that all of this stuff might have resulted in his Roblox account getting deleted. I mean, this guy uploaded a ton of clothes to be fair. Most of this stuff was like branded, you know, from other brands and stuff like that. And there we have it guys. So a pretty crazy situation. Something that used to get you a warn if the company complained can now get your account deleted. So if you guys ever want to upload branded clothes, make sure to just be careful. Nike and Palace are not the only companies to be doing this because a couple of days ago, I bought a Gucci hoodie and look at this guys, it got content deleted. The thing is guys, this Gucci hoodie has been on Roblox since 2017 and it was only content deleted about three days ago. So no matter how old your Roblox clothing is, even if the rules were different in 2017, it doesn't matter. You can still get banned for this. I believe the group is actually deleted or locked, which is actually kind of sad to see. So yeah, there you go. This group has been locked. Their entire group got locked. All of their work got deleted because they uploaded a Gucci hoodie back in 2017. Honestly, this is pretty bad because we don't even have an option to delete our branded clothes from the website. We literally have to email Roblox to get them deleted and then Roblox might just read the email and then delete your account. This is very messy and I really don't like this situation. Anyway, guys, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know down below in the comment section. Have you ever uploaded branded clothes onto Roblox? This could have been like a shirt or pants or a t-shirt because I definitely have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.